Hello friends. Have there been many events in your life that left you with the brightest memories? Or maybe even changed your worldview? There are probably many interesting things you can see in the ocean, but the most amazing of them are hidden in its depths. So what was it that amazed these boating tourists? Boating in the ocean, you will never know what awaits you. This incredible incident happened in California when Jack Gilkinson and his 11-year-old niece went out to sea to take a break from the bustle of the city and enjoy the sea views. But they ended up getting much more from that boat trip than they expected. Some two miles off the coast of Newport Beach, the man noticed a sea lion that was swimming around the boat. But then, something unexpected happened. The animal climbed aboard. The little sea lion leaped onto the boat and spent over a half an hour in it. At first, Jack was a little wary of the intruder because it's an animal and no one knows what's on its mind. The man asked his niece not to touch the wild animal. The sea lion moved closer to the man and began to nuzzle and rub its head against the man's leg. And several minutes later, Jack could no longer resist the temptation to pet the cute animal. According to Jack, his life will never be the same again and he will definitely never forget this day in the ocean. Jack later wrote on one of the social networks, It was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to catch any fish yet so I could treat my new friend. I appreciated every second because I didn't know how long it was going to last. The encounter was completely on the sea lion's terms. He wanted to come rest on me, so I let him. And our next story is no less interesting. A tourist named Kirk Fraser filmed this amazing incident while he was sailing off the coast of Vancouver Island in Canada. At first, the tourist noticed a fur seal that was hiding near the engine from some killer whales that circled nearby. Their dorsal fins and fountains of water were clearly visible in the video. Everyone was very worried about the seal, but didn't know how to help. However, the seal didn't give up and climbed onto the boat, even though it was also afraid of the people. There were about 12 orcas, they kept sounding and coming up right behind the boat, searching. The seal got scared when it jumped onto the boat, so it jumped back into the water, but then it jumped back onto the boat again. Four or five predators emerged from the water and looked at it, Nick Templeman, the tour guide, said in an interview. Although Templeman has been in the whale watching business for about 20 years, this is the first time he saw such a massive hunt. It wasn't just one family of killer whales, but four or five. Fortunately for the seal, the killer whales gave up and swam away about half an hour or maybe an hour later. The seal waited a few more minutes, then jumped into the water and left, Templeman added. We are very happy for the first seal, and we're sure that these tourists will definitely remember this experience for a long time. And in the next episode, a group of young people went fishing out in the sea on a motorboat, and something incredible happened. The seal jumped on and it left the boat. So why weren't the seals in the video scared of humans? And why did they choose people over orcas in the second video? Scientists have recently discovered that seals can recognize each other even after 10 years of separation, which suggests that their cognitive abilities are much better than we previously believed. They found that the seals avoid unfamiliar fish-eating killer whales. This means that they are initially afraid of all killer whales, but over time they begin to trust those that don't pose any danger to them. So this means that the seals have probably had some positive experience interacting with people, and that's why they weren't afraid of people. While in the second case, the seal probably understood that killer whales were more dangerous than people. These are some clever animals. As you've seen, our video today featured a fur seal, a sea lion, and a harbor seal. So how are they different? Seals are a group of animals that includes two families, true seals and eared seals. They are very similar in appearance. They both have streamlined bodies and limbs modified into flippers. They inhabit coastal areas. They swim well and feed on fish. However, their origins are different. The ancestors of the eared seals are bears, while the true seals descended from ancient weasels. Thus, the group of seals is polyphyletic. That is, it's derived from different evolutionary ancestors. The eared seal family includes two subfamilies, fur seals and sea lions. As you can imagine, neither one has anything to do with felines. It's believed that fur seals got their name either because of their luxurious mustache or because of their thick fur. And the sea lion's growl makes it just like the king of the animals. 
How does one distinguish between true seals and the eared seals? First of all, as the name suggests, the eared seals have well-shaped, well-visible auricles, kind of funny little tubes on the side of the head. True seals don't have external auricles, which is why they are sometimes called earless. But don't you assume that true seals are deaf? They have inner ears and they hear perfectly well. And a special muscle closes the ear canal when they are diving, so no water gets inside. How else do true seals differ from the eared seals? By the way, they both move on land and in water. Eared seals have long front flippers, which they lean on when moving on land, while bending forward with their hind flippers. Eared seals move rather quickly on land, by jumping and pushing off the ground with their flippers. True seals can't do this, because their hind flippers can't bend forward, and their front fins are much shorter than the hind ones. Therefore, true seals are rather helpless and clumsy on the land. They can only crawl on their bellies, making wave-like movements, like caterpillars. First, they cling to the ground with their claws, then pull the back of the body, and then push the front part of the body forward, pulling the back to it. Eared seals don't need to cling to the ground with their claws when moving on land, so they don't even have claws on their strong flippers. And that's all for today, friends. We hope that today's episode was interesting and informative. Let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like our video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.